The Denver Broncos surprised many pundits by signing free agent tight end Nick Vanette a week ago. Vanette, a 6'6", 261-pounder, is entering his fifth NFL season and is coming off a forgettable campaign with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Vanette said on Friday that his time in Pittsburgh wasn't the most pleasant experience. Going into the new league year, those in the know speculated that veteran Jeff Hireman could be a cap casualty, especially considering the rise of 2019 first-rounder Noah Fant, the emergence of Andrew Beck, and the relative depth of the Broncos' tight end room. Once Vanette was signed to a two-year, $5.7 million contract, it became almost a fait accompli that Hireman's days in Denver are numbered. Vanette doesn't know about all that, though. He's just excited to join his former Ohio State teammate. On Friday, Vanette said, quote, I honestly, I thought about that, but I have no idea what the plan is. I just know that they're looking for me to come in and create some competition and just to help out in the run game, close quote. Vanette's already heard from Hireman who called him to congratulate and welcome him on board. Vanette said, quote, I've talked to Jeff. We haven't really talked about what could happen down the road or what they plan to do. I have no idea. Close quote. Vanette's 2020 salary cap hit is only $2.078 million, but the Broncos could save $3.875 million by releasing Hireman. In a perfect world, the Broncos would be wise to simply bite the bullet and hang on to both ex-Buckeyes, considering the bad luck the team has had in the injury department at the position. Hireman himself has missed 25 games due to injury since arriving as Denver's third-round pick back in 2015. Troy Fumagalli, a 2018 fifth-round pick, missed all of his rookie year recovering from a sports hernia, and who in Broncos country needs a refresher course on the litany of games 2017 fifth-rounder Jake Butt has missed? Hint, he's only appeared in three games for Denver. Meanwhile, Austin Fort showed promise last season as an undrafted rookie before unfortunately tearing his ACL in the preseason and even Bug Howard suffered a summer injury that landed him on injured reserve. Fant is the star of the group. With 4'5 speed at 250 pounds, he's a next-level athlete playing the tight end position and is poised to have a monster second year playing in Pat Shermer's offense, which might not use a lot of two tight end sets, but likes throwing the ball to the tight end. This scheme will really play to Fant's strengths and ask him to basically be a big slot receiver who occasionally has to block. Vanette fits in as the tight end two, who comes in to block on short yardage situations and on the goal line where he can catch a handful of passes in the play action game. If the Broncos keep Hireman through the summer, which is likely, he'll be pitted against Vanette for that tight end two role. Hireman's best chance at staying in Denver and earning all four million on his 2020 contract would be to clearly outplay Vanette in training camp and preseason, which is entirely possible. There's room on this roster for both ex-Buckeyes though. However, they're going to have to battle it out. Only time will tell who will be the last man standing. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.